Yo, what is up guys, Bat here, and today we're in the game Mushroom Hunter, and in this game there is a very, I wouldn't say hard, but challenging item to obtain, and that item is a Dominus, and they added a buff to it, it used to not do anything, it's right here. What this does now is every, I think, 10%, uh, you have a 10% chance every time you hit something to do, I think, three times as much damage, I think, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to actually get this Dominus. And it might surprise you on how easy it actually is. It just will take time depending on your playstyle and the method that you use. I will be showing you guys two methods in this video. Um, and yeah, now just keep in mind on the f both methods, there could be a random that comes in and griefs you um, by stealing your combo, like your little crit zones. But yeah, you can't really avoid that unless you you know catch it in time i'll show you how to do that as well also lag is going to be your worst enemy in this i've gotten to about i think 320 is my highest streak and then uh yeah a lot of people started joining and i started lagging and it ruined my streak but um it's all right so yeah i'll make sure you guys how to do it so let's just go ahead and get started um first things first you're gonna want a decently slow weapon now if you are just starting out in the game the best choice for you would be going into menu crafting and craft this spear here now once you craft the spear you're not going to want to upgrade it um i'll show you guys how to upgrade it or how to get it real fast basically first things first you want to come to this quest guy and you're going to want to get a quest now this quest gives the stick that you're going to want so we're just going to accept it it's a very easy quest here and it's just kill five of these starter mushrooms so we're just going to go ahead and get that done really fast as you can see um, if you guys already know and have your weapon chosen, you can go ahead and use the timestamps in the video to get to the part where I show you how to actually do it. But this is for the newer players. This is how you're going to want to get this weapon. So we just did the five, as you can see, five out of five. And we're going to follow this back over to the Mushroom Hunter. Now, when we get here, you're just going to go ahead and talk to him. It'll say completed, and it'll go ahead and give you a crate. Now, in this crate is going to be a couple things. As you can see, there is a 1% chance for this, 10% for a spore, 30% for the stick, which is what you want, and a 5% for the fork, which you want as well. But we're going to go ahead and open it, and hopefully we get a stick here. It is a 30% chance, and yeah, we'll see. I don't think we got the stick. We did not, so basically you would just do the quest again. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video until I actually unbox a stick here, and yeah. All right, guys, I went ahead and gotten three crates here. So we're going to go ahead and open all three of these crates. And hopefully we go ahead and get a stick here. Um, yeah, so we got a spore and a stick. That's what we needed. Awesome. We're going to open the rest of the crates just for fun. And we'll see what we get. Should be something interesting. Hopefully we get a spork. Um, just so you guys can see that it's not impossible. And we just got two sticks in one crate. So now we own three sticks. Um, we'll go ahead and open the last one. If it gives me another stick, that's actually crazy. It didn't give me a stick, by the way. A fun fact, while you open crates, if you have your inventory open, it'll add, if you get the item, it'll add the item to your inventory before the crate actually shows you what you got. So that's a cool way to know what you get before you have to. Now you're gonna come over here and talk to the blacksmith. You're gonna press up, upgrade your tools, and you're gonna upgrade the stick to level two. Now you do need it to be level two in order to make this fork. So here we go, we have level one. Now, hopefully you guys are lucky like me with your upgrades. This is a 90% for this upgrade, and the first one was 100%, so I'm sure you won't fail those upgrades. But yeah, after you have the stick, all you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and craft it now. So you just go in here and craft your weapon. Now, as you can see, we do have the fork spear in our hand. Now, the reason you would wanna use this if you're a beginner is because if you look down here, it says 25 damage and two seconds. That means it hits every two seconds, which is extremely slow as compared to like a knife here, which hits every 0.95 seconds. So it'll be very helpful with being able to move into those crit zones without missing them. Now, the second weapon that you guys could choose if, you have, if you're like later in the game is you wouldn't go over to Mushroom Town. Now, you're gonna talk to this blacksmith over here and buy tools. Actually, we'll just go ahead and go into upgrades here. So the ones you would want to use is either the shovel with no upgrades, or you can upgrade it if you want. And the 
pickaxe, no upgrades. Again, you can upgrade it if you want, but I stick to no upgrades because upgrading it actually increases how fast it hits, which is not what we want. So that's how you get the weapons. Now, the different methods for actually getting the combos. Now, there are two methods you can use. Number one is probably gonna be the easiest one, which is using the dummies at the beginning of the game, which don't die. So you can effectively hit those infin infinitely until they until you get your combo obviously now if you want to also progress while you do this i recommend getting super mushrooms now the way you do that is by doing those quests i showed you and when you do those quests you get spores as you can see we have spores here and you can actually just craft super mushrooms now these mushrooms will have more hp than a normal mushroom and they'll also get more money but if you're going to be farming crits you're going to want to use like the best quest that you can do so for me i use enokis which are um let me see if i can show you here enokis which are these and they have about i think 1 mil 1.8 million to 3.2 million hp depending on if it does like a, a huge super uh enoki or something i don't know anyway you get the idea you can either farm these mushrooms or you could farm the dummies now for the sake of this video we're gonna actually be farming the dummies and before we do that what you guys are going to do is you're going to go ahead and go over to this mushroom master and you're going to want to learn these skills now you're going to want to learn sprint these ones don't matter yet i mean you can learn them if you want i learned them but the sprint is the most important one if you don't have sprint it's going to be way harder to get these combos because you won't move as fast now in order to get sprint you would need one of these souls of essence whatever they're called i don't even know essence of power okay i have 38 of them the way you get these is by doing uh, a quest again you have to just king kill the boss the king oyster and you'll basically get one of these every time very easy um so yeah you can go ahead and do that i'm not gonna be doing it in this video because it's very simple i think you only need about like 300 attack and you can just kill them so yeah um so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the base camp and i'm gonna be showing you guys like how, what i meant let me go ahead and first of all delete these if i can um i think i have to do them here maybe not maybe i can't delete them i don't know anyway yeah i can okay cool um okay stick we're gonna actually just delete the stick and we also have another stick but it's not showing up but whatever all right so what we're gonna want to do here is you're gonna come to a dummy as you can see he's doing it right now and you're gonna want to click it but from far away as you can see i'm nowhere near the attack range of this dummy and this is very important so you can actually line up your first attack with the crit zone now when it comes around we're gonna go ahead and line it up um, as you can see the lag is actually griefing but as you can see we have one crit or we have two now and now we have three and as you can see the pickaxe is a slow weapon which is actually really really good as compared to like using the knife see if we if we were to use the knife here we would have to move so fast because you could see how many times it actually hits in a couple seconds now you could probably do it with the knife it's just going to be way harder to actually get it done so we're going to keep using the pickaxe for this and we're going to keep hitting it now i'm going to go ahead and do a little time lapse here of me actually getting to like a high streak and then i'll show you guys what i do if you actually run into a problem while streaking and you need to stop and the server actually shut down um yeah so i'll be right back all right here we go guys we are now in a fresh server um, i guess they were doing bug fixes because there was an update that came out today and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and continue obviously combo grinding and yeah here's the time lapse enjoy All right, guys, as you can see from the uh, previous two clips, I actually did fail this combo twice in a row um, before I actually got it and, and completed it. Um, just like a, a quick, like just some advice when combo grinding, don't be afraid to just 
take some breaks, right? If you hit a combo and the next combo is all the way across the dummy and you don't think you can make it, just back away from the dummy. That way you don't lose your combo and then just wait for the combo to come closer and then you could just retry it. You could see me do that in some parts of this video, which is actually very helpful in not losing your combo. So I highly recommend you do that. Also, you could see me changing weapons every now and then because sometimes the weapons would be getting a little bit too fast for me personally. If it doesn't get too fast for you, then you don't have to switch, but you could definitely see me switching from shovel to pickaxe, from, from cleaver to shovel, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we did actually manage to get the 500 combo in this segment of the video. Um, it did take me a little while uh, it might not take you as long as it took me and if it doesn't congrats and I hope you guys did enjoy this because it obviously it was it was a little bit of a pain to get a 500 combo because um, I kept failing around the 300 mark but yeah if you guys did enjoy this uh, make sure to like and sub because it helps me out a ton and as always I'll catch you guys in the next one peace